And we've got to be careful out there. Heat illness, that's one of the leading causes of death and disability among high school athletes, especially when athletes are not properly acclimated. Many high schools add extra safety measures for the start of summer football practice, and in these conditions, everybody must be careful. Fox Wars' Alex Boyer joins us to give us a closer look. Hey, Alex. Hey, Clarice, you know, and I got to tell you, I was in Alaska until yesterday where the high was just 67 degrees. So you can imagine the shock to my body when I landed uh, at Love Field early this morning. You know, these triple digit temperatures, as we heard uh, Dan mention, are here to stay for the time being. And of course, that is uh, very difficult for folks who need to be outside for extended periods of time. By 9 a.m. Tuesday morning, the Hillcrest High School football team in North Dallas was wrapping up their first of two practices for the day. Man, it's, it's tough, but um, it's just adversity. Running back Ford Morris was already dripping in sweat, the result of another excessive heat warning in effect until at least Wednesday night. We got a great training staff. We always have water. We're always hydrated. Um, they keep us cool. Try and drink a gallon of water, I would say. That's like the main thing, you know, a gallon, two gallons, I mean. Just try and stay hydrated. In between practices, the players lay down in the air-conditioned training facility. Coach Jacob Ramon says the playing turf is about 20 degrees hotter than the temperature itself, which will soar well into the triple digits by late Tuesday. If it's this hot and there's not sweating, they're not, number one, they're not getting enough water. Number two, we need to get them off the field. Across town... It's sizzling inside William Barnes's food truck, Curbside Culinary, parked at Clyde Warren Park near downtown Dallas. He showed us the temperature inside his truck. That was before noontime. Barbecue, you can't cook barbecue on a low temperature, so you're going to have to have uh, pretty much every equipment on to cook the barbecue. Barnes and his sidekick, Mike Fontana, were visibly sweaty as they served up their barbecue dishes. <laughs> The duo drinks about a case of bottled water per day. Barnes says the extreme heat keeps the customers away. Here we go, ma'am. It's a drop, severe drop. Run specials, try to run specials. Organizations like the Mark Cuban Foundation are helping folks who need to be outside. Over a two-week period, they handed out more than 200 hydration kits containing water, ice, towels, handheld fans, and sweatbands to construction and essential workers at the organization's basketball center. We wanted to step in and really see if we can help them out. And then it's just been brutally hot here in Dallas, which is not the norm. When they see what we're giving, they're like, thank you so much. And that CEO who you just heard from says that today she got a last minute order for 700 hydration kits. She said she had to put in a rush order with her vendors to get it done, but she says she will get it done. She wants to make sure that everybody who wants one of those kits can get one.